Ahlan wa sahlan mara thaniya. Welcome back in our continuing study of case endings. And today we're coming up to a lesson you'll want to pay particular attention to because this is one of those rare instances where case endings will always be used. And so this is one you're actually going to have to know. We're talking today about what is called the five nouns. Now, I know that sounds like the name of a 1950s singing group, and you may wish that it were. But it is one of these instances where we actually do use case endings. So pay attention. Let's get right to it. Now, this lovely place, if you ever go to Egypt, you'll want to travel and visit this amazing historical site. Uh, but you may hear this referred to as Abu Simbel, Abi Simbel, and Abba Simbel. And so the question is, which one is it? Well, that's what we're going to discuss. So, the five nouns, uh, and pretty straightforward, there are five of them. Two you know pretty well, and the other three uh, you will not see as much. The first one is ab. The second one is ach. Third one is du. We will talk more about that later and what it actually means. Uh, and the last two are fem and hem. And these mean, respectively, mouth and father-in-law. So what do you notice about these five nouns? Well, first of all, they're all two letters long. And this is the reason that they keep their case endings. That's one of the reasons. Okay, so they're short words. So let's get right to the rules. The first rule is this. There is no problem when these words stand by themselves. Like, take this one, hua eb. So he... Hua is a father. Hua ab. We know this because there's no al. That is no problem. Notice we don't add anything to the word. It's fine. It's great. Life is wonderful. Hua al ab. He is the father. Okay? Either that or he just looks really old. Again, hua al ab. Al ab is by itself in this sense. Okay? So again, no problem. We could do these all day long. Well, where does the problem come in? Aha, hada abuha. It's probably good to clarify here. Okay, so now you, you notice what's happening here. This is her father. Now, this is a compound. Abuha means her father. It's possessive. And as you know, um, uh, this is an idafa with ha, this possessive construction. But anyway, it's in a compound. This is when all the trouble starts. So remember this. Don't start putting oos and ahs and e's on the end of these words unless they're in this idafa construction. Uh, now, the issue is these words usually are in that construction. You rarely say this is a father. Okay, It's usually in relation to someone. Okay, no problem. Let's look at this example. Okay, Hada Achuha. Okay, here we have these two kids from outer space who have come to steal your souls. Uh, and so you have bigger things to worry about than the case ending. But notice it's the same thing. Ach, Ach is brother, but this is Achuha. This is her brother. It's in an idafa. It's in a possessive, the brother of her. Okay, and notice it takes the case endings. So, what is the big deal? The five nouns, as they are known, show their case endings as long vowels. This is why we get abu, abba, abi. Well, the good news is these are the same case endings that you've learned before. So it's u, when, right, thank you so much, when it is the subject, a, when it is an object, e, when it comes on a Thursday, ah, caught you, right? E, when it's an object of a preposition or the first term in an adafa. So these same rules are going to hold. It's just that these words take these um, case endings as long vowels. Now, it only happens when they are indefinite in part of an adafa. Now, we know the first term in an adafa is made definite by what follows. Okay, but it has to be as part of an idafa or it has an attached suffix, which you know is also an idafa. A word like ahuha is, is an idafa, the uh, brother of her. So, 
let's take a look at some examples. Okay, so we have here Abu Sa'id, Abu Talib, Abu Sadiq Talib, and Abuha. Well, what do you notice about all of these instances? Right, in every case, the word Ab, father, is in a um, it's in an idafa construction with something that follows it. Abu Sa'id is, of course, the father of Sa'id. Abu Atalib, the father of the students. This is an idafa, right? That's why there's only an al on the last word. As you know, it's a it's a capital felony to put an al on the first word. Okay, here even a long idafa. Abu Sadiq Atalib. No matter how many terms, this is in an idafa with these two words and abuha, her father. Again, this is in an idafa with ha. Okay, we don't usually talk about these possessives being idafas, but that's where they are. Okay, so it works in that case. Remember, if we're talking about a father, the father, we don't use it. Now it's just going to be the same for the other the other four nouns. Okay, like this, Ahu Said. Ahu Atalib, Ahu Sadiq Atalib, Ahu Ha, and we can go through them all. Uh, this is the same thing, the mouth of, and so forth. Now, just let's go back for a second. If you look at all these words, you know that th this means brother. They're all in Adafas. Just by looking at all of these, you can tell what about every one of these examples. Yes, you there? Okay, it's right. They are all subjects. Ahu Said, who a Rajal Mumtaz. Ahu Talib, who a Mata Amps. Whatever. This, these are subjects of sentences. Now, be very careful. I know you can, you know, you, you get on a roll with these. They are so much fun. You say, oh, we got Abu, Ahu. We got two letter family members. You get on a roll, and you naturally want to say Omu Said and Omu Talib doesn't work with Om. Om is not one of the five nouns. Why? You know, he's, he is as confused as you are, trust me. Right? Isn't that true? Yes. So we don't do this with Om. Great. Again, let me just, before you get too frustrated and ignore this, this is one instance where case endings are used in everyday speech and in writing, in colloquial and in formal Arabic. People are going to say, Ahuha, Abuha. You actually do use these. Ah, now that we've got your attention, ooh, that's important. So, which case ending to use? Right? Just like any idafa, the first term can be whatever case it should be in the sentence. It can be a subject, right? Absolutely. It can be in the subject case, the marfua case. Abu Sa'id Yaskun Fimas. Right? The father of Sa'id lives in Egypt. And as you probably know, Abu Sa'id um, is normally going to be someone's name. In Arabic, we take that. It's called the Kuniya. We take that, that as someone's name. Okay? Or Ibn. But anyway, okay, so Abu Sa'id Yaskun Fi Musr. Okay, why? It's, why is it Abu? Because this is a subject and it is in an Adafa. If we just said the father lives in Egypt, it would be El Ab with no long vowel on it. Right? Get it? Okay, isn't it great? Same thing if we say Abu Talib Yaskun Fi Musr. The student's Father lives in Egypt. Let's get him in here for a parent-teacher conference. Well, I can Abu Talib yes fi Masr. He can't come in. Or Abuha yes fi Masr. Right? Okay, that's the subject case. If you got if you got that, the rest will come very easily. Arif Abba Sa'i is the same guy. Okay, but what's happening here? Arif, I know. This guy, who is he? Well, he's Abu Sa'id, but now he's an object. He is the object of my intensive knowing. Arif Abba Sa'id. Okay? It's an object. It is, again, part of an idafa. That's why it takes this long vowel case ending. It can, it can, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't work like a normal word where that would be, a, you know, a short vowel. Okay? Same thing. Okay, Arif Abaka, 
I know your father. I don't know Abuka. I can't say Aref Abuka. No, I don't know your father with an U. Aref Abaka. Aref Abba Atalab. I know the father of this student, right? Yes, absolutely. Okay, and our last case, of course, is the Majroor. This is object of a preposition. Again, the Hebtu ila Suk ma Abi Said. This guy gets around. Now he's going to the Suk. I went to the Suk with ma Abi Said. Because this is following a preposition, and remember this takes precedence over all other cases, it becomes Abi. So it's the same guy who was Abu Said when he was here, and was Abba Said when he's here. Now he's Abi Said. Okay, and so this is why if you're talking about some place like Abu Simbel, uh, you can say Abu Simbel Mu'alam Mumtaz, the Hebtu Illa Abi Simbel, Ana Uheb Abba Simbel. Okay, it's all those cases, even if it's a name. Okay, uh, right, you see that? Because it is the object of this preposition, and the same thing, whether it's Abi Talib. Abiki, the Hebtu ila suk ma abiki. I went to the suk with your father. I didn't go with abuki. I can't go with abuki. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, yes, I do. Don't confuse the majrur suffix with my. Okay? Abi and Abi. How could you possibly confuse them? Right? They're exactly the same. So you say, how do we know the difference? When I come back up here and I look at this, uh, how do I know the difference here that this is not my father? Well, I'm going to give you an answer that will work for now. The difference is this one is in Inidafa. Abi Ahmed. Okay, this is the father of Ahmed and it has to be coming after a, a preposition. So, uh, the Hebtu Ilasuk Ma Abi Ahmed. It's not Abi because Abi would be by itself. So let's take an example. Abi yeskon fi meser, and this is good to to point out, right? This suffix, just like any possessive suffix, it takes precedence over the case ending. Okay, so uh, Abi, right? Yeskon fi meser. Well, this is obviously my father. It's not the father of yeskon. First of all, it's a subject, so this would be the wrong case ending. Okay, and then there's, there's nothing following it. Okay, so Abi Yaskun Fi Masr. Abuka Yaskun Fi Masr. Why here? Right, because it's in a possessive. It's in an adafa with ka, with your. Your father lives in Egypt. So how can we tell? Take a look at this one, for example. Now this is a tricky. All right, so think for a second. What does this actually say? Well, Achi Said. Now, what does that mean? What is the function? Okay, this is the subject of a sentence. Achi Said Yeskon Fi Masr. Okay, this person lives in Egypt. Now, this is why you have to know your case endings is E, is this the correct case ending for a subject? No, it absolutely is not. Okay, so we know this is not a subject case ending. So this is saying, Achi, my brother, Said, whose name happens to be Said. Achi Said, my brother Said, lives in Egypt. 